So, we're going to one thrift store, and we're gonna see how much money we can make only at that one thrift store. We're gonna be using sales rank to decide if these items do or don't sell. So, don't be the dumbass in the comments saying, but nothing sold, how can you say these things are worth that much? Because when you use your old brain, and you check out the sales rank, you can pretty accurately understand when things will sell, how much they'll sell for, and how long it'll take for them to sell. Okay, that being said, let's get into it. This is my local haunt, where all the goblins and ghouls go to get good deals. Step one is going to be getting a sturdy cart. A reliable cart is a must. Step two, going right back to the electronics. I sell a lot of electronics, DVD players, DVD VCR combos, DVD recorders, dubbing machines, tape decks, stereo receivers, all of that stuff. In this instance, I'm probably picking up mostly DVD VCR combos, a few recorders, but if I saw a 3D Blu-ray player with an HDMI port, I'd pick it up. If I saw a small shelf size DVD player with an HDMI port, like right there, if that had an HDMI port, I'd probably pick it up. It doesn't, the Philips small player selling for like 40 bucks, but for a DVD player, that's still pretty good. I passed on a lot of these, uh, a lot of the heavier ones, the stereo decks, the stereo receivers, the tape decks, because of so, because of how goddamn heavy they are. I sell things on Amazon FBA, meaning I box them up, I ship a dozen or a thousand or whatever I have that week boxes to Amazon, and then they store them and they ship them out to customers. It's way more efficient, but I don't have the quality control that I'd like to have. And so on these heavier items, sometimes they get busted, not because I packaged them wrong, but because if it weighs 40 pounds and the person at Amazon isn't expecting it to weigh that much. And they may drop it and I'm out that amount of money. There's a DVD recorder right here. I'll put that in my cart and check it out later. Some of these older 80s uh, Sony items you're gonna see beneath it, they're 90s or 80s. I don't really mess with those because they take a lot longer to sell. There is money in them, but you're gonna see them being sold predominantly on eBay and a lot of the bands or belts or whatever on the inside are gonna be repaired. So when you see them fetching 200 bucks, it's because they've been refurbished, not because just off the shelf they're worth that much money. Man, a lot of DVD recorders here. That VCR is a little bit too old, a little bit too bulky for me to uh, buy on, me to pass. I am passing on it. I am not buying it. Uh, everything else here I think is pretty much picked clean. I pulled eight or so into my cart. Uh, all these switchboards down here, this stuff down there, not really good. Let's go over to electronics, uh, the handheld ones, not the, the on-the-shelf ones. This Victor giant-ass calculator is pretty cool, but not worth shit. Next to it, uh, the Casio one is worth a lot more. Sells used for about 25, 20 bucks on Amazon, I'm sure less on eBay. Uh, I put it in my cart, but I'll put it back eventually. Same with this, it's a Sony answering machine. The, these things here, they're worth like 10, 15 bucks, but they're gonna take a long time to sell. And I just don't think in Q4, I'm looking for long tail $15 items. I'm looking for big winners because now is the feeding frenzy. Now is when everyone's making their most money. I love selling little handheld games because usually they sell for a lot of money on Amazon. They're easy to prep and they very rarely get returned because they don't break. That, that's a pass, but these two up there and then this golden tea item, I'm gonna have to look all those up. These two Excalibur ones, you're gonna, this is gonna blow your mind. They sell for like 70 bucks. Now the sales rank is high, but they're so small, they're so cheap, I'm gonna buy them both, put them at 70 bucks, 60 bucks, see how it goes. That golden tea item over there, those sell for about 50 bucks on Amazon. Right now, the low price is like $36, but it's Q4, almost Christmas, almost Hanukkah, uh, and so I'm going to put those for sale at 50 bucks, and I'm almost positive it will sell. That's kind of cool down here. It's a Draftman or Draft Mark. Basically, it like compresses beer. Uh, it isn't that fancy, good packaging though. I don't drink beer anymore, I drink cider. Now I look these up online, uh, they come from <laughs> Michelob Ultra, which is a, a, a first giant warning sign. Uh, and the second thing I don't like about them is they're only worth like 20 bucks. There, it's a cool idea and I like it, but it's going back on the shelf. This caught my eye because I thought it was a Japanese tin toy. Uh, a vintage one from like the 60s to 50s. What happens is, is uh, they, the Japanese people, after their country was bombed after World War II, they became very um, 
resourceful, took all the tin stuff, made the toys, and those toys are now worth sometimes thousands of dollars. That was not, it was a Chinese reproduction, worth about 20 bucks, still cool, but not the kind of thing I'm looking to buy. This ink is cool too, but on ink, you wanna check the manufacturing date. Ink does expire. Um, the warranty there ended in 2010, so passing on that too. Video games. On the left side, these are the ones that have been here for a while. On the right side, those are all new additions. You can tell they're new additions because they're just thrown in there. They got them donated, someone just tossed them in. Everything here looks like trash, except for the Star Fox Guard game. I looked it up though, and that's only worth about five bucks. I think I pulled one game out of there. Uh, Mortal Kombat vs. DC Universe. It was complete. I'll sell it for $15. This caught my eye too. I don't usually sell clothing. Uh, I always say that, but I saw a Tommy Hilfiger rain jacket. I saw comps online of the same exact one, so I don't think it's fake. It's being auctioned off around 30 bucks. Buy it now around 60 bucks. I think I can sell it for 60 bucks free shipping pretty easily. The toy section has been good to me too, although it looks a bit picked over right now. I don't see anything that I like. I'm looking for new in box toys, uh, anything with a lot of moving parts. There's one uh, new in box toy. I think it's new in box, but it's kind of beat up. I might have to sell this like new. Uh, there's no open box categorization on Amazon, so it'd be like new open box. But I think I can get probably 50 or 60 bucks for it. Um, it's not new, unfortunately. If it was new, maybe 100 bucks because it's discontinued, so there's no other new products. This right there, that little plush toy is an, a new in box toy. This squirt gun, I thought it was a new in-box toy, but it's all busted on the right side. Both those are essentially worthless. Now here is what you have to do. You have to test all your electronics. All you gotta do is grab some tapes, some DVDs, some CDs, whatever, take them over to a power strip and a TV, plug them in, see if they work. I don't test the DVD record functionality because how could you? But it didn't matter in this case because both of the DVD recorders that I got did not work. My thoughts on this are, another reseller bought them, they did not work for them, and they just donated them uh, to the Salvation Army. So there's two busted ones here in Ann Arbor, don't buy them. That is how it's done, folks. I spent $70.91. Out of that, I'm going to bring in $819.09. That is way over 10X, huge money maker. That does not include fees, but in order to keep this video succinct, I am not going over fees. I have tons of other videos that talk about fees. The fees are boring as shit. These items are all making a bunch of money. And if you're 10Xing your investment, it doesn't matter what fees are. You're still making hundreds and hundreds of dollars. So I, I don't feel it's totally necessary for the scope of this video. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Hopefully these, uh, these tips I gave you are gonna help you make some more cash. And uh, I'll see you guys later. Oh, yeah, one more thing. Don't be a shithead.